Have you ever noticed how sometimes when you're sitting out underneath your awning trying to enjoy the beautiful morning or evening, the sun is just right in your face and it's putting a lot of heat on you sometimes too and you just want to go, ah, hide from the sun? Well, today we're going to try to fix that by installing an easy shade screen. So we're going to show you how we're going to do that right after this. Hi, this is John and Lisa with Jolly Campers and today we're going to be installing an easy shade <laughs> this is a nice little product that we found on Amazon. I'm putting a link below so that you can click on it and check out some for yourself. Um, but this attaches directly to your awning up here and it puts about a foot below that you just, that, that permanently stays on there. It can roll up with the awning and then you zip on the rest of it so that when you want to use it, you can use it. And when you don't, you can take it down. So I'm going to turn it over to John now so that he can do the install and show you how easily or not easily it's done. <laughs> okay, everybody. So this is our screen. So as Lisa explained earlier, this is a two-part screen. The top part will go in to the, uh, the reset. The, here's a, uh, I don't know what you call it, but it's a little line thing that, that uh, you can stick into your uh, awning. Um, <coughs> it's supposed to slide through that. And that will hang down a foot or so, a foot or two. And then there's a secondary part uh, that you'll zip on when you're uh, actually at your campsite. Uh, these come in different sizes, so when you go on the website and order, you need to know how tall your awning is at the point. So we have our awning set up at the lowest point uh, in the thing, and I think that's about nine feet above the ground. I believe we bought uh, an eight foot one, so we're gonna be, we're not gonna be down flush to the ground but we didn't want to be flush to the ground that way when we set it up we can either set it up straight down um, depending upon the site or if we want to have a little more room in it you can angle it out and then you use um, some uh, like buckets and, and straps whatever to kind of hold it down at that angle and that type of thing but for right now we're just going to show you the installation of the top part we may screw in the I mean uh, zip in the other part just show you how it installs and go from there. We've opened it up and the way this came, it's the entire thing, so it's all of it. So we're gonna have to go through and open this up and unzip this top part so that we can work with it and um, do that. So that's what we'll be doing. Okay, so um, we tried to feed it in and then we realized that wasn't working real well. So I was trying to figure out there's got to be a better way to do this. So what we found is at the end of this thing, there were a couple of tabs. So we pop those tabs and then this piece comes off. And then when you look up in there, you'll see that there, that's where the little reservoir is for it to start feeding through. So we'll just take it down that way and try that out. So if you've got an if you've got this type of awning that has this bar, that's whatever. So we took this on the non-motor side. Okay, can you swing around this way? So, and just shoot behind me. Yeah. On the non motor side, so we tried to you know, stick it in through this hole, and we couldn't get the material to come up in there. So we had like, okay, so how do we get this out of the way? Well, guess what? I was able to slide that out. Miracle! All right, learning, learning lesson now. Guess what? So far. Yeah. So the 
trick is going to be how we get farther down. Oh. Uh -huh. Okay. So, oh, this is nice. I'm able to just kind of grab it. And right now. <laughs> yeah, so far, I'm able to push it down. It's going down the slide. So it is going in. I've just I'm all twisted up here. That's why this is having a hard time. So I've been able to get about half of it in so far. All right, I'm going to turn this off and come assist. Okay, so if Lisa's going to help me, we're going to slide the rest of it in. Test rolling it up. As you can see, it's rolling up right with it. It's not causing any problems at all rolling it in. Now he's going to roll it back out. So it's coming right back down into position. The side. And you look up here on the left and the right, there's these little white tabs. So uh, we're going to pull that off and we're going to attach that. That'll keep the, the, the uh, slide from sliding uh, left and right. It'll hold it in place. Velcro tab that comes off. So we're going to Peel that, stick that there, and then that's going to stick on that, and that'll hold it onto the to the awning. Peeling off the back there, and sticking it onto the arm of the or the roller of the awning. And then he's fastening the Velcro strip around it. Well, this will prevent this from sliding left and right as you're rolling it or whatever else. This will hold this in place. All right, and we're going to do one on the other side. Same thing. Unfortunately, I, being only five foot nine, I'm probably shrinking as I get older. Um, <clears throat> I can reach this, but I can't zip this. If I were my son, who's like six two, he would be able to stand there and probably zip it across himself. But unfortunately, I will have to use a ladder. So, which is good, we'll get a chance to see how easy this is to zip. And of course, we did this on the windiest day, but as you can see, once I got it started on that end, these little tabs here, kind of standing on my tiptoes, I was able to walk it across and zip it in so you don't necessarily have to take the ladder down. And of course, it being very windy, this isn't the best day necessarily, but as you can see, we can set it down, this, we don't worry about it touching the ground um, and that, but if we wanted to, and you're at the right kind of campsite, you can pull it out at an angle like this and there are these grommets and so you could take bungee cords and some type of hook like you can use like those dog uh, uh, spirally dog uh, leash uh, hooks or 
a bucket or some other type of thing and hook that down to the other end and have that. So, um, you know, we might should have gone with the nine foot to be a little bit long, uh, longer. That's really about the only thing. We were kind of concerned about which way, to, whether it was eight foot or nine foot. This is the eight foot. Um, so I think maybe the nine would have been a little bit better choice for us, but that's okay. We'll, uh, we can make this work. So that's basically it. So, um, remember, overall ease of installation? Uh, well, um, don't be afraid of heights. Um, no, I, I, once we figured out that the, that end piece down there pulled out, um, and, and that ease of installation on this, um, a beginner can do it. Anybody can do it. Um, it's, it's really not that hard. You just pop that little piece, you pop that end piece off of, off of each end, or you didn't even have to do it off of that end. But uh, you pop the end piece off of the, the non-motor end, start at the non-motor end, and work your way across. It, as you can tell in the video, it slid across really easy once I got that little part separated there, and the material went in. It went in really nice and easy. Um, and that and then the zip up that was just getting it started and I was just able to reach across so if you're like a six foot tall person no problem and, um, and now know. we'll be able to sit out on sunny days when the sun's coming at us and have some shade and help keep us a little bit cooler hopefully yep. so so jolly camping tea good luck